Library of Heaven's Path. Chapter 47, Huang Yu. Gongzi, are you here to buy books or to browse through books? The moment he stepped into the bookstore, a young lady stepped forward to welcome him. Around 17 to 18 years old, her pure face and appearance were particularly alluring. Even though she was still slightly lacking compared to Shen by Ryu Lushi, she could be considered as an exceptional beauty. Are there, secret manuals on Fighter 6 Dan cultivation technique here? Zhang Xian revealed his objective to her. Fighter 6 Dan cultivation technique. Gongzi must be joking. Such secret manuals on cultivation technique cost a hefty sum, a little business like ours doesn't have the qualifications to be selling them. If you want some entrance level cultivation technique manuals, we have a few of it here though, the lady shook her head. The books sold in their store mainly consisted of human geography, biographies of reputable figures and such. Cultivation techniques were something highly confidential to cultivators, so how could it be allowed to be browsed through or sold freely? Then. Do you know any stores that sell them? Confirming his suspicion that the manuals weren't on sale here, Zhang Xian sighed and looked at her with expectation. Sell them? The lady shook her head. It is impossible for anyone in Tianxian Royal City to be selling cultivation techniques of this level. However, some experts do collect quite a few of them. If you have an amicable relationship with them, it might be possible for them to allow you to look through them. Allow me to look through them. Taking a look is great as well. Zhang Xian's eyes lit up. With the Library of Heaven's Path, there was no need for him to buy the books. As long as he was able to lay his hand on those books, just by flipping through it, a corresponding book would be compiled automatically. Do you know any seniors who collect such manuals in their residence and allow others to browse through them? He couldn't resist asking. Allow others to browse through them? The lady frowned and just as she was about to shake her head, she suddenly thought of something and slyness flitted across her eyes. She smiles and says, I do know of one. However, he is known for being eccentric. When he is in high spirits, he won't mind even if you were to take all of the books in his house. But if he is in a bad mood, ignoring the fact whether he will allow you to browse through his books or not, he might not even allow you to walk through his door. Such a person exists in the world? Zhang Xian frowned. He continued, then, May I trouble you to guide me to seek that senior? It just happens that there isn't much business today. I will bring you there now. The young lady smiled. Thanks for the trouble. He didn't expect the lady to be so helpful as to bring him there personally, so he nodded his head in gratitude. With the lady leading ahead, the two of them walked out of the bookstore. Through their idle chatter, Zhang Xian learned that the name of the lady was Huang Yu. This bookstore was opened by her. Judging from the appearance of the bookstore, it seemed to be newly opened, at maximum around 10 days or so. You are saying that there are many books in the home of that senior? After walking a distance, Zhang Xian couldn't resist asking. Naturally. That senior is a famous scholar in the entire kingdom, and he was once Emperor Shenzui's tutor. He is a person who is able to freely go in and out of the kingdom's book collection vault. Do you think that it is possible for the books in his home to not be many? Huang Yu said reverently. Emperor Shenzui's teacher? That means, he used to be an emperor's tutor? Zhang Xian was stunned. The current emperor of Tianxian kingdom was named Shenzui. No one was aware of the specific level of his cultivation, they only knew that he was the strongest person in the entire kingdom, unmatched by anyone. The tutors of such a figure were carefully handpicked and have to undergo numerous selection processes before their positions were confirmed. Even the principal of Hongtian Academy didn't possess such qualifications. He is his painting and calligraphy teacher, and not his martial arts teacher. Even so, he is still an incredible figure who is deeply respected by the emperor. At this point, Huang Yu's face turned solemn as she warned Zhang Xian, 
This old Mr. Lu Chen is an elegant person who is very particular about decorum. He detests juniors talking nonsense before him. When we arrive, it is best for you not to speak too easily. Otherwise, it will be impossible for you to be given permission to browse through his books. On. Zhang Xian nodded his head. Also, I also have my own matters to attend to. When we arrive, you will have to deal with the matter of borrowing books yourself, don't mess up my matter along with yours. Huang Yu glanced over with her beautiful eyes as she spoke. Don't worry, I won't put you in a difficult position. Comprehending the meaning behind her words, Zhang Xian smiled in response. He was already grateful over the fact that she was willing to bring him over. If he was capable, he would be able to borrow the books. However, even if he ended up in failure, nothing could be done about it. No matter what, he was still a teacher. How could he put a young lady in an awkward position? The old mister prefers juniors who are more obedient. No matter what the old mister says, you just have to nod your head. You should also know that a great scholar like him tend to be more conservative so his thoughts may diverge from that of us, youngsters. Just try not to squabble with him over these. Huang Yu reminded him once again. The two of them soon walked out of the market. After passing by a series of alleys that would leave one confused, they arrived at a residence. This is the residence of old Mr. Lu Chen. Huang Yu pointed towards the residence. Zhang Xian raised his head to take a look at the entire residence. It wasn't as vast and extravagant as he expected. It seemed like the residence of an ordinary household and there wasn't even a door plaque at the entrance. If it weren't for Huang Yu leading him here, he might have thought that this was the residence of a normal civilian. This is, the place where the emperor's tutor lives? Zhang Xian found it hard to believe. Old Mr. Lu Chen lives a thrifty life. There were many times when Emperor Shenzui offered to reconstruct his residence, but he firmly rejected the offers. Noticing his doubt, Huang Yu explained. Zhang Xian nodded his head as his respect for the emperor's tutor grew. Despite possessing such social status, he was able to remain incorruptible and thrifty without being changed by power. It seemed like this old mister was a sentimental and straightforward person. Da 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 da. Just as they were about to knock on the door, a carriage rushed over. The distinct sound of galloping horses echoed through the alley. G-I-A-A-A. The carriage stopped beside the two. A young man parted the curtains of the carriage and walked out. He was a 17 to 18 year old youth dressed in white. Tall and slim, his face was exquisite, similar to a white jade. With a single look, it was clear to see that he was a scion, and he exuded an aura of superiority. Xiao Yu. You are here, too. Seeing Huang Yu, the white-clothed Gongzi's eyes twinkled and immediately tried to fawn upon her. I am Huang Yu, don't give me such a mushy nickname. We aren't that familiar with one another yet. Huang Yu curled her lips contemptuously. Given the relationship between our families, it isn't too much to call you Xiao Yu. Besides, wasn't that how I called you when you were younger as well? Are you here to visit old Mr. Lu Chen as well? The white-clothed Gongza smiled and flung his robe. He struck a pose, as though declaring that victory was in his hands. He he, don't think too much about that object. It will definitely come under my possession. It is hard to tell whose it will be at this point. I only fear that you will cry then. Huang Yu didn't step down to his taunting. We'll see then. The white-clothed Gongzi chuckled. At this point, he finally noticed Zhang Xian and frowned, Who is this? Xiao Yu, why did you bring an outsider here? No matter who is it that I bring, it is none of your business. Huang Yu pursed her lips, not sparing the other party any face. Humph, lad. No matter who you are, I advise you to stay away from Xiao Yu. She isn't someone a small figure like you can lay your hands upon. Looking at Zhang Xian, the white-clothed Gongzi narrowed his eyes and spat coldly. 
Zhang Xian didn't expect to be threatened when he was only here to borrow a book. A strong feeling of helplessness surged through him. Using the words from his previous world, he was lucky like a dead mongoose. All Huang Yu did was to bring him here, they were just barely acquaintances. Do you really have to go that far? Threatened by someone, Zhang Xian felt displeased. He stretched his back and waved away his concerns, you interfere too much. My apologies, but I don't think that you need to concern yourself over this. Fine, I hope that you don't regret your words. He didn't expect that a lad he had never met before would dare to speak to him in such a manner. The white-clothed Gongzi's eyebrows shot up and his eyes narrowed. Turning around, he ignored the other two and walked over to the front of the courtyard to knock on the door. Why are you so rash? As the white-clothed man knocked on the door, Huang Yu's anxious voice sounded by Zhang Xian's ears. Why? Zhang Xian looked at her in puzzlement. Do you know who he is, for you to dare to speak to him like that? Seeing the oblivious look on the other party's face, Huang Yu felt a little helpless. It was truly hard to tell whether this fellow has a strong heart, or that there was something wrong with his head. Who cares about who he is, Zhang Xian shrugged. What does his identity have to do with me? You, seeing the expression on the young man's face, Huang Yu was starting to doubt if she had brought a fool over. Seeing the indifferent look in his eyes, she was able to tell that he truly wasn't bothered over the identity of the person he just offended. At a loss for words, she could only introduce the person before to him, he is the sole son of Jenny Zhuang, Bai Sun. Jenny Zhuang was known as the number one authoritative subject of Tianqian Kingdom, his position beneath only that of Emperor Shenzui. Offending his only son meant that it would be hard for him to make a living in Tianqian Kingdom. Initially, she thought that revealing the identity of the other party would induce fear in this fellow and that he would ask her on how he should resolve the problem. Contrary to her expectations, Zhang Xian looked over with a confused expression, Jenny Zhuang. Who is he? Translator note. Xiao Yu-Little Yu, a pet name for Huang Yu.